Today we'll be announcing another excellent group-wide performance. To contextualize the half year, let me start by reflecting on the recent past. As a company, we have come a, a long way in the last two and a half years. Looking back, for us at Sassel, FY12 was all about goal setting and con consolidation. During that time, we carefully assessed our areas of competitive advantage and where we could do better. We drove operational improvements and focused on safe, stable, and reliable operations. We refined our strategic agenda and narrowed in on two broad regional strategies. First, our nurture and growth strategy, primarily here in Southern Africa, where we seek to enhance our strong position in the region. And secondly, our expand and deliver strategy, which is underpinned by our North American aspirations, and specifically, our U.S. growth program. At our results announcement in September last year, I told you that our 2013 financial year would be a watershed for Sassel. After all, in FY13, we consciously moved away from coal to liquids, coal to liquids growth, and stepped up our gas to liquids ambitions. At the same time, we accelerated our low carbon power generation initiatives and drove safe and more efficient operations. As part of this step change, we reprioritized our project pipeline to deliver tangible and sustainable value. And crucially, we focused the entire company on a single set of priorities, which included the urgent need to address our cost creep. To ensure that we were a more effective organization, the management team signed off on a redesigned operating model with simplified structures, streamlined decision-making layers, and fit-for-purpose functions. Now, turning to FY14 from July last year to date, we have been layer, laying a solid foundation across the, the organization for what will be a new era in Sassel's history. The hard work of the past several years is already paying off, although in management's view, this is only the beginning. The full benefits of the new Sassel will only be realized from our 2015 financial year onward. 